Hey, what's up, guys? It's your friend, Fast Eddie. And I'm coming at you tonight with a cool little uh, Blu-ray update. I got some slip boxes and some uh, steel books to show you. So let's jump right in. All right, first up, obviously, as you can see here, picked up the uh, Night at the Museum collection. Very cool. It's in a nice little uh, slip box here, which I love these things now. Front and back here. And also pretty cool here, on the uh, front of it, all these little windows actually pop open. And uh, you see another little picture underneath, it's got this little pull tab. And you pull the tab there, and it changes out the picture, so it's pretty cool. And like I said, uh, they all do pop open, but I don't want to open them all up. But yeah, there's Night at the Museum collection. I opened it up here from the bottom, guys. Slide them out, and obviously you get the two uh, Blu-rays. Obviously the first one and the second one here. Let me just take a look at them real fast. Uh, the second one's really nice. It's three discs. Obviously, you get your Blu-ray, uh, your DVD, and your digital copy. So, pretty cool. And then the first one, just a cheapo uh, recycled case. But uh, eco-friendly, whatever you want to call them. But yeah, I'll slide these guys back in here. And yeah, Night at the Museum collection. Pretty cool. Alright, next up... I got this one here, and it is the Oceans Collection. This is actually pretty sweet, again, for, especially for the money on this thing. Check it out, man. It's pretty thick. Here's the sides. Really nice. Uh, the back here, just pretty much telling you what you get. 11, 12, and 13. Uh, some of the special features, which I don't think very much at all, guys. But it's cool, man. It's got your little chips there, and your dice once again with the snake eyes. You had little uh, card suits on it, but uh, yeah, this is nice. And this is actually like a giant, uh, thick slip cover. Then you slide this one off, and it gives you a nice little box underneath. And this isn't like your typical like trilogy box. It's actually nice and thick, man. So really cool pictures there, obviously, 11, 12, and 13. You get your Blu-rays, and then the back here is in red instead of white. And then the side here, once again, this one is in black, though, instead of uh, blue on the slipcover. Uh, you get your Snake Eyes Dice, 11, 12, 13 again. Very cool. And then, obviously, you get all three of the movies. You get 11, 12, and 13. But man, what a deal for the money. Uh, I didn't care for the third one very much, but uh, the first and second ones were pretty cool. Just slide them all back in here. Like I said, man, this is a really thick, adorable box, guys. Really nice. We take our little, well, not little, our ginormous slip cover here, slide it back on, and there we go. Yeah, the Ocean's Trilogy. Very cool. Nice little set. All right. And last for the uh, slip boxes, I finally picked up the uh, Underworld Trilogy. So happy to finally get this one in the collection. I love these movies. And uh, it just, once again, I'm really digging these uh, uh, slip boxes. It's got fingerprints on it. Damn it. <laughs> anyway, guys, here is the back of it. Just telling you the movies and some of the features and stuff like that on it. Um, you get your nice little thing there in the background. Man, I got fingerprints all over this damn thing. <laughs> Well, all right. Obviously, then we get our uh, three Blu-rays in it. Uh, the first, second, and third, and they're all pretty nice because they all do have the uh, uh, pictures there in the background. There is the lovely Kate, and then we get Evolution. And once again, another picture of her. And then we get the Rise of the Lichens. This one's pretty nice here. Two disc set with uh, artwork underneath of both sides. Very nice. So yeah, man. Been wanting this one for a while, guys. Got this one also at a halfway decent price. So went ahead and picked it up. Still didn't get my uh, Spider-Man trilogy yet, but it's coming here shortly. <laughs> All right. Now let's get into a few of the steel books. Uh, there was four total that I picked up. So the first one was the Gangs of New York. Nice, cool picture there of DiCaprio on the front. Nice matte finish. Very cool looking. His eyes really pop out there in the blue. Very nice looking steel book. Uh, I hate the blue bar up here, but what are you going to do? There's a spine in English and in French. And then the back here, which was horrible for me. I got this in, what, today, I believe, this one came in, and it had the paper sheet actually glued to the back of it, which I was pretty pissed off about. But uh, I got most of it off, just about all of it, I guess. But, uh, you know, I dealt with that with the digi books when I was really into them, and then, again, with the slip covers, and I got pretty good at it, but this one just pissed me off, man. These are a lot more expensive than the digi books or the slip covers. So, anyway, there's the front. Open it up. 
You get a nice little picture there on the inside. Nice artwork here on the disc as well. Yeah, so there is Gangs of New York. Put that back in the bag here in a minute. All right. And then went ahead and got the Polar Express. And this is a really sharp looking steel, guys. Take this one out real fast as well. Yeah, I do leave all my sheets in here when I put them in my bags. So uh, take that off real fast. There is the front. And that's sharp looking. Once again, it is matte. But it's full of color, man. Uh, the lights on the train actually look like they're almost lit up. Very cool. And it's, uh, it's a cartoonized picture, just like the uh, film itself. But it looks really sharp, man. And here we go with the spine. Uh, nothing much going on. Once again, just your mat and then Polar Express in the back. That was really sharp. Look at all the color in that. Isn't that beautiful? Man, I'm getting so hooked on these steel books. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. All right, let's open her up. And we do get the uh, printing on the inside as well. We get the big old train, the Polar Express itself, coming around the uh, mountain there. And you can see, uh, you know, it starts here and wraps all the way around. And here is the caboose, I guess. Uh, big old moon here. Very sharp looking, nice looking steel book here, guys. Especially for the price. This one wasn't uh, too bad at all. And it says it's a uh, limited edition. I don't know how limited it actually is, but uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a limited edition steelbook collection, so pretty sweet. All right, then next we got uh, Tom Cruise in the Spielberg film Minority Report, and uh, we are sticking with the matte theme so far. All these finishes have been. This one's got a little bit of shine to it. Actually, yeah, it is pretty glossy, but uh, I was thinking it was more matte than this, but uh, man, it's really sharp. This is an awesome film, too. I'm sure most of you guys have seen it, but, uh, man, what a great film this was. Once again, we do have the Blu-ray logo up here. Not quite as bad as the solid blue. I can deal with that, but uh, not bad looking. All right, then here on the side, obviously, on the spine here, we get Minority Report. And it's cool. It's almost like it's in, like, uh, neon or something. looks really sharp. And then the back of it here, uh, not the greatest looking back to a steelbook for sure, but still pretty damn nice. Let me open it up. And this one does come with a set of uh, art cards, which I just left them in the plastic. I'm not going to be opening those up, but they are pretty cool. No artwork in the background, but you do get your two discs. Obviously, here is your Blu-ray. Looks the same as the front cover. And then here is your DVD uh, digital copy. So pretty cool, man. I was really impressed with this steel book. I like this one a lot, guys. I love the movie, and this thing is just really sharp looking. Very cool. All right, and then last but not least, all the way from Germany, we get Monsters. This is an awesome freaking steel book, man. I really like this one a lot, guys. If I can get it out of my little uh, baggie here, that'd be great. There we go. So, obviously, it sits sideways and just looks like the big orange sign. Very cool Monsters. Do not venture beyond this point. Really cool looking. It's got, like, the little biohazard mask sign down here, just... Man, it's really sharp. It's totally glossy. I don't know if I'm going to pick it up there in a the light, but man, that is really cool looking, isn't it? It did have the little sticker down here. I was able to peel that off with no problem, no residue or anything like that, so it came out really good. Obviously, guys, there's the front, Then we get the spine here. Not a whole lot going on, just more glossy black. Monsters is actually like white, but if you turn it, you can pick up a little bit of orange in the words itself. It's very cool. All right, and here's the back. I'm running out of time, guys. Really cool looking, very sharp, and then the inside here, uh, my battery's getting ready to die, hopefully it doesn't die. There is the uh, Blu-ray itself, and then the interior is just more orange grainy looking. And that's it guys, so that was my pickups for the week. Obviously uh, we had uh, the Night at the Museum collection, the Oceans Trilogy box set thing, the Trilogy, uh, Underworld Trilogy, the uh, Monsters Blu-ray, Gangs of New York Blu-ray. Polar Express Steelbook, Minority Report Steelbook. And that's it, guys. I'm out of time, so I will catch you guys next time. Have a great night, guys. See you.